My name is Juan Girado. Our student ID is 026-4889. Um, I'm doing the presentation for the video presentation for the Information Security Management uh, COIT 20263 uh, assessment item number three for the group, group discussion. Um, well, after after we after we uh, have a meeting every week with the members of the group, uh, we have come up with a with a solution for every week that I'm gonna explain um, following this. Uh, for week three, the one of the questions was uh, the steps that the company should take for the certification and accreditation of its information security systems in Australia. Um, well, basically, the processes are four, four different processes, which are initiation and planning, certification, accreditation, and continuous m monitoring. For the in initiation and planning is the phase where the information system owner and the information system security officer are the ones that usually for or formally begin the certification and accreditation process by acknowledging that this process is required. However, there are many many factors that that are important to keep in mind in the in this process, uh, which are like uh, for form a team, create a plan mil milestones, uh, determ determine the formal security classification for the system and uh, also make the decision of the resources that are required to, pe to perform the process. The other, the other part of the process is the, the certification, which is the phase no number two. And in this phase, uh, each member of the team uh, will perform, perform a review of, of the certification and accreditation package and audit Audit, the information is being audited uh, with a system by using the check the checklist to make sure like all the controls uh, have been implemented um, in a in a correct correct way. Uh, also, there are another another phase which is called accreditation. Is the phase where which consists of a certifi cer certifying aut authority reviewing the package uh, in the certification phase. Once the package is reviewed, the authority has to has to make the decision to accept the accreditation with no risk. The last one, but not the least, is continuous mon monitoring. It's the phase where the system compliant baseline is maintained and the process of monitoring the pro the the process of, mo of monitoring the process in order to detect any new threats or in the system which uh, is being performed. For week four, we have the question, would the company need the certification and accreditation of its information security system in the countries of satellite campuses as well? So, well, after, after we, have, we have our meeting, we come up with the, with a, with a, with a IS, ISO, Two seven zero zero one, which is the certification that will help us to to get the accreditation for the satellite campuses. The good thing about choosing a certification that is wor worldwide known as 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 is uh, ISO is that works everywhere and covers the company against terrorist activities and threats from hackers. So well, for week five which professional organizations would like to be involved in this process of certification and accreditation. So basically the company is gonna be is going to be maintaining campus in, in Australia and uh, it has three different satellite campuses overseas which are in in Asia and uh, they are in Singapore, the other one is um, Thailand and Malaysia. So we found uh, that there are there are many many professional organizations that work in every in every country that we, we are gonna be in the satellite campuses and for 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 Singapore 
we found the Singapore Accreditation Council is the one which is going to ac uh, give us the accreditation or the certification for the for the new for the new company. In Thailand, there are uh, a national accreditation system of Thailand called TSI, T I S I. And in Malaysia, there are organizations is Standards Malaysia and Malaysia Accreditation Con Council, known as M M S M A C. The, these companies or these or these organizations are the the ones that are going to to give the permissions and everything to work in the in the in those campuses and to create a company that allow us to to work with people and and everything to get a to get the information system ready and with no risk for the country or for for us. Thank you very much.